Jews of Europe were sorted into those who were fit enough for slave labor and those who would be taken straight to the gas chambers. Candles have been lit and the death wall where prisoners were executed. Small points of light in the wintry landscape of snow and ice where Europe is remembering a time of very much darkness. Delegations made their way through the snow tonight to lay candles at the Birkenau Memorial. Child survivors at Auschwitz still taken uh, from footage um, by Soviet forces uh, show everything you need to know. Uh, these kids are skin and bone. Um, there, there's, you know, I'm seriously talking, you know, 40 and 50 pounds total weight for what looks to be a teenager. Yuda Widowski, 96, is among the oldest of survivors of the Auschwitz attending the ceremonies. And uh, Hollywood director, of course, Steven Spielberg, who made the Holocaust film Schindler's List, was at the ceremony at Auschwitz tonight as well as Dutch king William Alexander. Polish President Bronislaw Komorowski told the ceremony in the Germans had made Poland a cemetery for Jews. Auschwitz survivor Helena Berenbaum, born in 1929, said her greatest duty was to tell others how much people in the camps had wanted to live. I lived my mother's dream to see the oppressor defeated, she told the ceremony. Former inmates described how Nazi guards had forced forced families apart, sorting new arrivals into those fit enough for hard labor and those who would go straight to the gas chamber. After the speeches, Jewish and Christian prayers for the dead were said before candles were lit at Birkenau and the monument uh, to the victims. Auschwitz was liberated on the 27th of January, 1945. It opened as a museum in 1947. Anniversary ceremonies took place in other parts of Europe at Israel's Holocaust Museum. Renee Salt, 85, from North London, visited the camp for the first time 10 years ago and, quote, buried the ghosts and has been going back ever since. I'll do it for as long as I can. Why, she says? There are still a lot of Holocaust deniers the world over, and if we don't speak out, the world won't know what happened. And if the world doesn't know what happened, it's going to happen again. On Tuesday, the Russian Defense Ministry published what it said were archive documents in Russian about the liberation of Auschwitz. The first soldiers and reporters to enter the camp described crowds of exhausted, emaciated prisoners and found piles of dead bodies. Russian President Vladimir Putin was among the world leaders not attending the ceremony amid a row with Poland over the commemoration and ink linked to Russia's recent in intervention in the Ukraine. Instead, the Russian leader attended a commemoration at Moscow's Jewish Museum along with uh, Russia's chief rabbi, Beryl Lazar. Germans commemorated the transport of Jews to their death by laying flowers on the railway platforms in Berlin, and children brought candles to the site of the Nazi concentration camp Theranault in the Czech Republic. The Kremlin accused Poland of engaging in anti-Russian hysteria after Poland Foreign Minister Gregor Selenye credited Ukrainian soldiers rather than the Soviet army with liberating Auschwitz. The Russian people carried the lion's share of the fight with fascism on their shoulders. Seventy percent of all Red Army fighters and officers were Russians, Mr. Putin said at the museum. He also paid tribute to more than half a million Jews who had fought in the Red Army and made a huge contribution to the victory against the enemy. In his speech at Auschwitz, Poland's President Komorowski drew a parallel between Nazi Germany and the USSR recalling the massacre of Polish elites by Soviet forces. Before leaving Paris for Poland, French President Francois Hollande condemned the unbearable problem of contemporary anti-Semitism, telling Jews at a Holocaust memorial, France is your homeland. Earlier, German Chancellor Angela Merkel said that it was a disgrace that Jews faced uh, insults, threats, and violence. Yeah, there you go. Um... So that, that's the deal. That's the deal. That's what's going on in the world today, if any Americans out there care to know. And I know you don't. 
<clears throat> and why am I doing this show, then, you may ask? Well, because I feel, as an educated person on the planet, that uh, we needed to do something at HTLA to comm commemorate the... Uh, the uh, the anniversary and uh, indeed uh, remind all the morons out there that maybe pick up a book once in a while maybe get off the Kim Kardashian Instagram and go out there and try and learn something maybe make that your your new New Year's wish maybe get up tomorrow morning out of bed and maybe change your perspective for once maybe I don't know get smart how about that? That would be a good idea after all. Now, I poke a lot of fun at terrorists on this show, like good old Yusef Mel Turkey. Yeah. Ah, I am Abu Yusuf Mel Turkey. Yes. Filthy United States pigs. Yes, there he is. Good old, good old use of filthy American pigs. Ah. No longer will my men be forced to bow down to your pantyhose wearing imperialism. Each week, we will raise pillars of holy fire in each of your cities until our demands are met. Now that's all in fun, but uh, if you if you actually ever hear a news report where. Somebody like that is saying those exact things and threatening to blow up your cities. Hey, feel happy. You know why? Because it's nothing compared to what anybody went through at death camps. That would be my point about extermination being a little worse than terrorism. And we spend all this money and all this time and all these resources and all this talking and all this social media and everything on terrorism. Well, that's probably just the perfect distraction, isn't it? To keep us all focused and busy while another Hitler comes up through the ranks somewhere in the world. Yeah. And the less we're educated in America, the more likely that Hitler is going to come up here. <sighs> well, there's the time. There's the time. Where to go? It's gone. Yeah. I'd like to thank HTLA Radio 1 New York for having me on here. Another crash talk. No Jews as good Jews. The 70th anniversary of the liberation of the Nazi death camps. Uh, join me next week on Crash Talk. It'll be something else equally as bad. Yeah, whatever. There you go. That's it. Get out of here. The hell are you doing still here? Get out. Go on. Bye-bye.